Hello, this lecture is about local area network topologies. A network topology or the local area network topology is the pattern in which nodes, that is computers, printers, routers, or other devices are connected to a local area network or other networks, maybe with links like twisted pairs, copper wire cables, or optical fiber cable or famous RJ45 network uh, cat cable. There are four uh, principal topologies used in local area networks that is bus, star, mesh and hybrid. The most widely used of these uh, is a star and sometimes bus because it is employed by Ethernet, which is dominant uh, local area network architecture. In bus topology, all devices are connected to a central cable called the bus or the backbone. This topology is relatively inexpensive and easy to install for small networks. So a bus uh, network topology uses a single central cable to which all computers and devices are connected. It is easy to expand and requires little cabling. Data can only travel in one direction. If data is being sent between devices, then other device cannot transmit. Terminators uh, are needed to, at each end to prevent signal reflection, uh, the bounce. Bus networks are typically peer-to-peer. -peer. The disadvantages of a bus network include uh, if the main cable fails, the whole network goes down. The performance of the network deteriorates under heavy loading. Uh, the network is not secure since each packet passes through every node. Advantages are even uh, if one node fails, the remainder of the network continues to function. It is easy to increase the size of the network by adding additional nodes. If bus network topology uh, works and in it, each node looks at each packet and determines whether or not the address of the recipient in the pack uh, package matches the node address. If so, the node accepts the packet. If node, the packet is ignored. So let me revise this. In bus topology, each node looks at each packet and determines whether or not the address of the recipient in the package matches the node address. If so, the node accepts the packet. If not, the packet is ignored. Uh, these are most suitable um, uh, for the situations with a small number of devices with light traffic occurring. For example, a small company or an office environment. The next topology is uh, STAR. In a STAR topology, all devices are connected directly to a central computer or server. Such networks are relatively easy to install and manage, but bottlenecks can occur because all data must pass through the central device. A star network topology uses a central hub or switch and each computer or device is connected to the hub or switch. Data going from host to host is uh, directed through, through the central hub or switch. Each computer or device has its own dedicated connection to the central board, uh, sorry, uh, node, hub or switch. Any type of network cable can be used for the connections. This type of network is typically a client server. The disadvantages of uh, a star network include 
the initial installation costs are high. If the central hub or switch fails, then the whole network goes down. And advantages are, which are more than disadvantages, data collisions are greatly reduced due to the topology. It is a more secure network since security methods can be applied to the central node and packets only travel to nodes with the correct addresses. This is unlike bus where every packet goes to every node. It is easy to improve by simply installing and upgrading the hub. If one of the connections is broken, it only affects one of the nodes. How packets are handled depends on whether the central node is a switch or a hub. If it is a hub, all the packets will be sent to every device or node on the star network. If the address in the packet matches that of the node, it will be accepted, otherwise it is ignored. This is similar to the way packets are handled on a bus network. If the central node is a switch, packets will only be sent to nodes where the addresses matches the recipient address in the packet. The latter is clearly more secure since only nodes intended to uh, see the packets will receive it. Star networks are useful for evolving networks uh, where devices are frequently added or removed. They are well suited to applications where there is heavy data traffic. Next topology is mesh. Uh, mesh topology is actually uh, can be uh, either a full mesh or a partial mesh. In the partial mesh, uh, no, sorry, full mesh, each computer is connected directly to each of the others. And in the partial, some computers are connected to most of the others and some are connected only to those other nodes uh, with which they exchange the most data. Uh, there, uh, these are two types. Remember, there are two types of mesh network topologies. Uh, routing and flooding. Routing works by giving the nodes routing logic. In other words, they act like a router so that data is directed to its destination by the shortest route and can be rerouted if one of the nodes in the route has failed. Flooding simply sends the data via all the nodes and uses no routing logic which can lead to unnecessarily uh, loading of, on the network. It is a type of peer-to-peer -peer network, but uh, is fundamentally different. The disadvantages of the mesh network include a large amount of cabling is needed, which is expensive and time consuming. Setup and maintenance is difficult and complex. Advantages of a mesh network include, it is easy to identify where faults on the network have occurred. Uh, secondly, any broken links in the network do not affect the other nodes. Good privacy and security since packets travel along dedicated routes. The network is uh, relatively easy to expand. There are a number of applications worth considering here for mesh network. The internet and wide area networks or metropolitan area networks are typically uses of uh, this mesh network. Many examples include industrial monitoring and control where sensors are set up in mesh design and feedback to a control system which is part of the mesh. For example, medical monitoring of patients in the hospital is a mesh electronics interconnectivity for example system that link large screen television D dvds uh, set top boxes and so on each device will be in a location forming the mesh 
modern vehicles uh, use wireless mesh networks technology to enable the monitoring and control of many of the components in the vehicle so this was mesh this might be new for you so you need to understand follow notes and try to remember it's working the last one is a hybrid as you can see here that hybrid is a collection of different sort of network topologies in one as you can see in this diagram here three star different network topologies or networks are connected in a ring way with each other a hybrid network is a mixture of two or more different topologies bus and star bus and mesh and so on here we have got ring and star ring is another type of network topology the main advantages and disadvantages depend on which type of network uh, which types of networks are used to make up the hybrid network but in uh, but an additional disadvantage is that they can be very complex to install configure and maintain mainly hybrid networks are used when there are certain existing networks and someone likes to connect them and these existing networks are of different data uh, different uh, uh, topologies and when they are connected they are connected um, in another topology so they themselves become sort of nodes on an other network local area network additional advantages uh, include uh, they can handle large volume of traffic it is easy to identify where a network fault has occurred they are very well suited to the creation of larger networks note that uh, the handling of packets in hybrid networks will depend on which of the above uh, topologies are used to make up the hybrid structure one of the typical applications of hybrid network is uh, illustrated here uh suppose uh, in another example maybe it is fictitious suppose hotel chain a uses a bus network hotel chain b uses a star network and hotel chain c uses a mesh network when they all are connected they they make a hybrid network at some point all three hotels chains are taken over by another company by using hybrid network technology all three hotel chains will be connected together even though they are each using a different type of network the system can also be expanded easily without affecting any of the existing hotels using the network there are many other examples you might want to explore the various applications for each type of network to, uh, topologies over the internet uh so the word topology comes from the greek word topos meaning place and logos meaning study it is a description of any locality in terms of its layout topology is a branch of mathematics concerned with properties of geometric figures that are uh, distorted without tearing or bonding together so this was the lecture about uh, network topologies uh, especially for local area topologies stay tuned for um, next lecture which is related to ethernet and csmacd until then if there is any question that you want to ask ask that question in your respective uh, whatsapp groups or facebook discussion group or under this a uh, video i will try my best to promptly answer those until then thank you